Abraham. It's difficult to fully express my admiration for you. I'm constantly left in awe when I witness your perseverance through life's struggles, your graciousness in the face of adversity, and the endless love you have given, even when you know it will hurt you. I'm so proud of you and how much you've grown over the past two years. I will always be here to support you and champion you on your journey of becoming the best version of yourself. Early on in our relationship, you painted me this beautiful picture of what our lives might look like and who we would be. It had a home, a family, a wonderful future full of love. You had and continue to see me as I truly am, and being seen by you means more to me than I could ever say. From our very first conversations to the ones we have to this day, we have always given each other the time and thoughtfulness that helped build such a strong connection. By spending each day together with only ourselves as company, we were given an opportunity that most people will never get. This was an opportunity that I'll always cherish, and it allowed us to build such a strong connection so quickly. There will be moments in our life that will test us to our limits, but I know that our bond and our love for each other will get us through them. I promise to be patient, even though it can be incredibly difficult at times. I promise to be kind, as I've never known someone so deserving of kindness. I promise to be understanding, even though there are things I can never truly understand. I promise to be your place of safety and comfort, not only when you need it most, but each and every day. Most importantly, I promise to always view our lives and every experience in it, good or bad, through the lens of love. Raham, you are everything I could have wished for and more. You are my best friend, my forever buddy, my sunshine, my wife. I love you more than anything, and I couldn't be happier to spend the rest of my life with you. so very eloquent. <laughs> Mine is not like that at all. Oh, how the tables are turned. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I have a little surprise. I bet you do. <laughs> is it a lip sync? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not singing RuPaul, uh, but I wish I could do a catwalk run for you on this, on this here on day. On Stable Rock. But I will turn on the. Mm. So, I'm just going to preface a little bit. Okay. That um, when, after we had gone on our first couple of dates, and we were in Toronto, and you asked me what I was doing, and I was getting really drunk with my dad. Yeah. And having a jam session. And you asked to hear me sing. And I sent you a couple of sound bites, and you said you'd listen to it in your whole trip. I decided to record something with my dad. It's not usual. <laughs> I'm not a good songwriter, but I just 
wanted you to listen to it. There's obviously a few because I'm Filipino <laughs> and I have to make a performance out of everything. on the couch with the hydroponic lights on because <laughs> I didn't want to bother you but you carried me princess style back to bed and you told me I didn't have to be alone and that it was okay if you had to hear me vomit all night <laughs> no it's really difficult to make promises that I can't keep. But what I can tell you is this. I will always try my very best. I know my best can vary day to day. But know that I'll always put my best foot forward when it comes to you. And the life we hope to build together. I promise to squeeze you and bite you whenever my love for you spills over. And you will yelp from the pain <laughs> and the marks that my big teeth will inevitably leave behind. I promise to continue the funny sayings we have accumulated thus far. Like Newt Newt and Go to Zang. Go to Zang! And the East of Bonnie is a really good ballad, so. I like it. Stonks. 
and I'll try not to forget most of them. I promise to look forward to every time you come home, and vice versa, and to say same same when we both do or think the exact same things as we normally do. I promise to cook all of your favorite meals as often as I can, or for us to create new dishes together that will become your favorite ones. You'll still have to close all the bedroom doors when I cook with this. I promise to dance with you in the most random places, but mostly in our kitchen or twerk in the living room. I promise to really love your smell, even if you smell the worst, and to stick my nose in your armpits and be a total fucking weirdo. I promise to be your forever buddy and the person that always looks out for you because you've always done it for me and I have no doubt you will forever want. We stand here before you on this here day, our wedding day, <laughs> to tell you again, like I've told you many times before, how much I adore you, how much I love you, and how you are everything to me. Jordan, I'm happy to be your wife. And I forget to do the little old oh, It's just the...